Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know I've been gone for um, two months, I think. And um, since I left, you know, the world's fallen to ruin. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So I'm pretty sure as everyone heard, I'm not gonna say the actual name of it because we all know YouTube's doing some whole demonetizing shit if we talk about it like specifically. But anyways, oh my gosh, so I'm like vlogging in public for the first time. But it's like funny because like I really just don't give a fuck anymore. But anyways, it's just so fucking crazy because like I literally have not been able to go anywhere because of this shit and it sucks so much. But anyways, here I'm going to be doing um, a series currently because we're on quarantine or whatever and I'm going to call these the Quarantine Chronicles bitch because I do what the fuck I want. Yeah, I know. It's fucking awesome. So right now I'm walking to meet up with my friend and we're going to start our day off. Update, so the, um, I did a test and I went to see how like people are like maneuvering on the buses and shit. You know, public transportation is fucking disgusting. So I'm pretty sure nobody was gonna take it. Um, I was right, but the one bitch that was on it was fucking disgusting. This bitch over here coughing like tuberculosis. <laughs> I'm like, oh hell no. You don't know how fast I was like, did he? I'm getting the fuck off of here. Like goodbye, delete the fuck. No, hell no. I ain't catching no shit because this bitch over here coughing at the hot top of her lungs. Like damn bitch. I mean like I sat like at the opposite side of the bus, but she was coughing so damn loud. And I'm like, bitch, you know this is the wrong time to be coughing. This is the wrong time to be sneezing too. I remember motherfuckers, when you used to sneeze, everybody would be like, oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. Now motherfuckers sneeze, they look at you like, what the fuck? Hell no, ain't nobody playing with these damn germs, so I'm not either. Bro. <laughs> Even though they said motherfuckers ain't out, look, there's motherfuckers out right there. So I just want y'all to see that motherfucker still, this shit's quarantined, oh my god, I just noticed the back there's a bunch of yellow tape. But motherfucker's still out, so y'all can't say nothing. I don't know. Um, so, I'm pretty sure as you can tell, I didn't finish the video. So like, you probably like wondering like, hey, what just happened? I thought we were doing the Corona Chronicles. We're still doing it, it's just, um, I forgot to record that day. Things got a little bit crazy after the little part that you seen. So, um, yeah. So this is um, three days later, I think. And um, basically, I'm just going to tell you guys a story because I can't leave my house because we're quarantined inside. And it fucking sucks because I hate being stuck in here. But that also means that I have nothing better to do, which means I can make more videos for you guys. And that's what you want, right? Okay, fuck you. But anyways. So I'm going, in the spirit of the sick illness, <clears throat> I'm going to tell the story of how I faked, <laughs> I faked a seizure to leave a very awkward day. <laughs> and we're going to tell this story. Say hi to my doge. This is my doge. His name's Goldie. He loves me. Right, Goldie? <laughs> Anyways. So, this was um about, I'd say... Eighth grade, seventh grade. Now this is when I just started dating. Then there was this one girl and I was like, oh. All right, a yeah, girl likes me, that's pretty cool. Let me see what's up. So then I, um, she started talking to me and we started hanging out or whatever. And then we like would hang out after school, which was rare because I never was allowed to hang out at school and it sucked ass. But we basically started hanging out. And then I realized after a while that um, I don't like this bitch. This bitch was a literal fucking psycho. Like, this bitch, I was like, oh, she seems nice. And then, like, when I got to meet her, I was like, oh, this bitch fucking crazy. I need to get the fuck away from her. Like, bro, anyone who fucking comes to school with fucking pickles is fucking gross. I'm sorry if you like pickles. I'm sorry if you were a part of the veggie pickle army stand. Fuck pickles by themselves. On sandwiches, I fuck with them, but by themselves, that's fucking gross, and you're a fucking psycho if you eat them. Now you know. But anyways, so, she was, all, like, when I saw her eat pickles, I was like, where the fuck did you get a pickle from? She was like, oh, I bought this from home. I'm like, 
who the fuck brings pickles from home? Like, you don't bring no sandwich? Like, you was like, hold the bread, hold the meat, like, hold the cheese, like, all that shit. You was just like, just give me the pickles. I don't know. Bitch was weird. So, I was like, okay. And then she would always get, like, weird when I would, like, talk to the um, other girls at school. I'm like, calm down, honey. We're seven. <laughs> Chill out. And then, like, she's over here like, why are you talking to her? Why aren't you talking to me? I'm like, she's the fucking teacher. What do you expect me to do? I have to talk to this bitch. I don't want to talk to her. And then she, it was just, like, so intense. And then she asked me out. And I was like, no. And then she threatened to kill herself. So I was like, oh. <laughs> that's awful. That's awful. But I was like, oh. And then, like, she was, like, really weird. She would follow me around school and shit. Then I started dating this other girl. Now, that, I didn't date the first one. I started dating this other girl. And it was, like, official, official. Like, we, like, you know, like that. I just realized as I'm editing this part that the way I made it seem is that we fucked. But that's not what I meant. Because <laughs> we were children. I meant we clicked and got along. So if you dirty-minded motherfuckers want to think such dirty things, think what you think. But that's not what I meant. <laughs> you fucked. <laughs> and then, um, so she was jealous of that bitch. And she um tried to do voodoo and shit. So, like, I ended up going to her house because I was friends with, like, um, her older sister or whatever. So, I was hanging out with her at her house, and I saw the crazy bitch. I was like, hi, crazy bitch. And then she was just looking at me like, hi, you, Seth. And I'm like, nah, fuck that bitch. And then after all of that, I was just like, okay, she's going to be weird. She's going to be weird. And then she showed me how she made voodoo dolls and shit of um, my, my ex at the time. And I was like, what? Like, this bitch, she deadass, like, had voodoo dolls, this bitch. She had runics written in her own blood in her book. I was like, this bitch really lost her damn mind. She's, like, on some whole, like, fucking voodoo brood heady ass shit. Like, I'm like, oh, hell no. I cannot fuck with that. I'm like, I need to get the hell out this house. And then this bitch, she was talking to me. She was like, yeah, it's just I miss you, and I wish we got to hang out a lot. But, you know, since you have a girlfriend, for sure she doesn't want you around. And I'm like, yeah, that bitch don't want you nowhere near me. That's why I think I might have to leave. And then, like, before I left, I was, like, hanging out with her sister still, and I was just talking. And then I walked into the bitch's room. This bitch, dead ass, had motherfucking demonic symbols on her bed. I was like, oh, hell no, this bitch is fucking crazy. There ain't no motherfucking way that I'm about to stay in this bitch. I was like, okay block delete the fuck like no i'm not fucking with it that bitch was crazy and i was like okay it's time to dip and then she kept fucking following me and then um she was like one day when i like ran into her at school she like to came up to me like after i broke up with the person she was like why don't you want to date me and i'm like because you're fucking weird and fucking crazy and she's like you don't mean that i'm like see that's exactly what a crazy bitch would say only a crazy bitch would be like you don't mean that i'm fucking crazy no bitch you're fucking crazy that's why i don't want you around me hell the fuck no so then she was like she was like oh come on please please and then she was like no no i was like no don't touch me um i'm a i'm a seizure patient if you touch me i can go into epileptic shock and she was like stop playing and then she touched me and i was like <laughs> and like dead ass like fucking started doing a seizure on the floor she was like oh my god and then she like ran off to go get help and i dead ass got like <laughs> picked up in a damn thing and like taken away and then i was just like that was a close one and then like i scared the shit because like i'm <laughs> this is so funny i was in the fucking like ambulance and shit and they were like taking me this is when i was younger so my mom was like panicking and shit because they called him but i i really need to get the fuck out of there so i was like nah and then bro Tell me why I'm like in the ambulance and shit. I was pretending like I was sleeping. Since they closed that shore, that shit and pulled off, she was like out there at the door. She was like, I'll meet you at the hospital. I woke up like, oh, fucking God, that was so close. I was like, holy shit. I was like, what? I wasn't dead. And it was like, you scared the fuck out of us. We thought you had a seizure. I was like, nah. And then the funniest thing is that like, there was two dudes in the back of the paramedic. And I think there was a woman driving the whole time on the way to the hospital. They were just like arguing with me of how I shouldn't have done that. But then like, I explained the situation to the guys and they were like, it be like that, bro. I'm like, hell yeah. Like, this bitch is fucking crazy. And then, like, the lady in that was driving, she was like, why don't you just tell her how you felt? And I was like, I did. The bitch is crazy. And then I told her. And then she was like, oh, well, you still shouldn't do this because you can still get fined for it. I'm like, okay, but this was a life or death situation. And I'm not about to deal with this crazy bitch. Like, she was going to steal my soul on some Shang Tsung shit. Fuck that. But anyways, if you guys like this story, I have shit like this, um... Happens to me daily, so if you want to hear more,
hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I'll leave it right here. You know. And um, another thing, me and my friend, we got a podcast, bitch. Yes. We're making our podcast. It airs in two weeks. And I'm going to be leaving a link down below if you guys want to subscribe. We're going to be having it on the platform Anchor. If you guys haven't used Anchor, they're not paying me. So y'all bitches still get a promo. Go look it up and go watch my fucking thing. I'll send you a link, though. And, um... If you guys have any ideas for any other videos, hit me up. I know we're all kind of stuck inside because of quarantine and it kind of sucks ass. I mean, I enjoy my room because I'm... <clears throat> but it still sucks that we're all stuck in here and I hope all you guys do well and um, don't die because I need you guys to watch my videos. So wash your hands. I'm, I don't fucking know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this, make sure you leave a comment and like it and subscribe and share that shit because, you know, show me some love. We need to stick together. Plus... Y'all don't have shit to watch. Like, I know I've been scrolling through YouTube all motherfucking day. Don't have shit to watch. That's why I'm like, you know what? Let me come back up in the game or whatever. So y'all can, like, subscribe and shit. Send it to y'all friends if y'all liked it or whatever. If you didn't, fuck you. But thanks for watching anyways. And, um, fuck you. Bye.